the Carolina Clemson rivalry, of course, you being an in-state guy, and I talked about, you know, your final game being against Ohio State and how special that was, but your final game at williams Bryce Stadium, beating Clemson. And I, I know that was one, you know, as frustrating as, as the record was early on. And probably I'm, I'm imagining what's even more frustrating is losing to your rival. And you being able to go out on a high note against them at home. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I'd have to imagine that was pretty cool. Well, but let's point out they cheated the year before. My oh, yeah, the push year. off, of course. The yeah, Rod Gardner yeah, push yeah, off. Yeah. That, that, that the referee, his, that, that, he was on the take that game. I'm sure. Yeah. So because that was a should have, should have been two in a row. Should have been two. Yeah, in a row. Been, I agree. Should have been two in a I row. And, but no, beating them at home. I will say this about that rivalry: that it doesn't matter how good you are, what your record is, and we all, you know, you always hear the cliche: mm-hmm. take, the, take the records out the window. But we were better. We were probably we felt like we were two touchdowns better our senior year than Clemson. Mm-hmm. Um, and they, as hard as they played, I mean, it was unbelievable. I mean, and that's that's just that rivalry. That's the beauty of it. But, I mean, they gave us, heck, the entire game. I mean, it, offensively, defensively, they got after it. And, you know, we were playing pretty well. Uh, but we came on in the second half, you know, started getting a little rhythm going and, found, you know, found a way to win the game. But that's the beauty of that rivalry is you truly can throw the records out of it. And mm-hmm. You really can. So, But it was a beautiful thing to walk off that field. Final game in williams Bryce Stadium. I mean, it was amazing. Yeah. I mean, you, you quarterback Phil, so many incredible wins, especially during that two year stretch. I'm curious, is there one that stands out to you? And we just talked about the Outback Bowls and, and Clemson, but I'll tell you for me personally, one of my most memorable plays of you is uh, the 2001 Georgia game where you throw the touchdown to Brian Scott. I mean, you got yeah. pummeled. I mean, you got pummeled. You're getting yeah. helped off to the sideline. Everybody's celebrating yeah. in the end zone. You're getting helped off. But, I mean, uh, yeah. that game, there were many more. Was, was there one game that really sticks out, though? Is yeah. You know, 2001 Bama is another one. I mean, the, the yeah. Rod Trafford yeah. catch. I mean, there were so many good memories. Yeah, I got to give I got to give my boy Brian Scott some credit there because I understood. The hell of a catch. That one. Hell of a yeah, catch. He went, was. He, went up, he, he went up and made a catch. I always, I always kid him. That's about the only catch he ever made in his career. But, uh, he, uh, <laughs> no, I'm joking. He's, he was one of the great ones. But he, uh, he went up and made a play. But, we, you know, that, that drive though we had three third down conversions i hit ryan brewer across the middle matt thomas down the side matt made a great catch brewer made a great catch and and then brian made a great catch so just you know three players making yeah. plays uh to go win the mm-hmm. game and that's a that's a tough place to go play especially oh, yeah. at night, you know, between the hedges so you know that game uh you know beating them two years in a row uh you know the alabama game winning for the first time in school history was was probably one of the that was probably the my greatest memory just because we were down I think 13 points with only about five, six minutes to go, something like that, and came back and and then found a way to win. And then obviously Trafford makes the catch in the end zone to win it. But uh, but yeah, th- those are some some great memories. 